If you're looking to buy a house and, and, and you're trying to figure out how to come up with all the money that's needed for the, for the down payment, I mean, sure, it, it can start to feel a little overwhelming. Yeah, say that again. Well, stand by because in this video, I'm gonna cover four ways that you can buy a home with zero down payment or at minimum, a very low down payment here in California. Hi, my name's Jose. I'm a realtor with Remax here in the Inland Empire in Southern California. And if this is your first time to the channel, well, first of all, welcome. Really happy to have you here. In fact, be sure to hit the subscribe button right down over here and also don't forget to hit the bell. This way you're notified of all upcoming videos where I talk about buying, selling, and of course, living here in the Inland Empire. Yes, as I just said, it is possible to buy a home here in California with a very low down payment, and in some cases, a zero down payment. Let's jump into it. This one just might be the most popular buyer assistance program here in California. And, and it may not get you to a full zero down payment, but I'm telling you, it's gonna get you pretty close. In fact, currently the amount of money you can get from CalHefa for, for your down payment is up to $15,000. How much of a difference does that make? Well, let's do this. Let's say you're buying a home here in California for $500,000. Uh, you're using an FHA loan, 3.5% down payment. That means your down payment is $17,500. But again, remember, with the CalHefa program, it gives you up to $15,000 to use toward your down payment, which means instead of $17,500, your down payment is now only $2,500. That's a huge difference. Oh, you better believe it. Are there requirements? Sure, uh, of course there are. First of all, uh, you do have to have a FICO score of a, of a minimum of 640, and you do need to be a first-time buyer. However, before you go and start tuning me out because you're saying, Jose, ah, we owned a home before, a first time buyer for, for this program just simply means you cannot have owned a home in the past three years. So if you owned a home before, but you sold that home five, six, eight, ten 10 years ago for this program, yeah, you're, you're considered a first time home buyer again. There's also a maximum income limit, which actually this can vary depending on which county that you're looking to purchase in. I will say that, that currently, they're all over $100,000, and actually some of the counties, they're, they're a pretty good amount over $100,000. Also though, it does have to be a home that you're gonna live in, meaning you can't use the program to offset the down payment, buy the house, and then turn it into a rental, or, or do that again and decide I'm not gonna live there, I'm gonna have one of my family members living in it. Oh, one more thing before I forget to mention is, with the CalHefa Buyer Assistance Program, not only can you get $15,000 for the down payment, but you can also get money for the closing cost too. That, that one varies depending on the size of the, the loan that you have. So for instance, that $500,000 home that, that you got $15,000 for the down payment, but you can also get $14,000 to help with the closing cost money. So yeah, this program can seriously reduce the amount of money that you need to have in order to buy a home. There's also the Golden State Finance Authority, which is another program that may not quite get you to zero, but again, it's gonna get you pretty close. Now, one thing that is kind of neat about the Golden State Finance Authority is you don't even need to be a first time buyer. So if you sold your house, I don't know, last month, yeah, you could still potentially take advantage of this program. With the Golden State Finance Authority, you're able to get up to 5% of the purchase for, uh, for the down payment or the closing cost. If we were to go back to that $500,000 home that we were talking about just a minute ago with a down payment of uh, $17,500, that's with the, uh, the FHA loan, well, again, with the Golden State Finance Authority, you're able to get up to 5% of the purchase, or in this case, it's $25,000. So using that towards your down payment, that actually leaves a balance. It leaves you an extra $7,500, and that you can use towards your closing cost. Yeah, maybe not quite as much money as you would get with the CalHefa program, but still pretty good, right? And just like with the CalHefa program, there are similar income requirements that do vary depending on the county. Uh, for this also, you do have to have a minimum of a 640 FICO score, and you do need to live in the home in, in order to be eligible. Since 1935, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the, the USDA, has been providing 100% home loans. Yeah, 100% home loan, meaning there is no down payment. 
Looking back again at that same $500,000 home that we were talking about earlier, again, remember with the FHA loan, the down payment is $17,500. Well, with the USDA home loan, nothing. There's zero. There, there is no down payment. Yes, there are a few requirements in order to qualify for this. One being uh, that the home that you're buying, it must be in a designated rural location. And yes, believe it or not, there, there are still some uh, rural locations here in Southern California. Your lender can look that up and confirm exact locations that are going to be eligible for the USDA home loan. A couple other requirements are you do need to have, at least according to their most recent qualification requirements, a minimum FICO score of 620. And there are some requirements, depending on the county that you're looking at, though, at the number of household members that you have. There are no requirements for you to be a first time home buyer for this. However, you cannot own another home at the same time that you're, you're trying to purchase a home with the USDA home loan. For our veterans, there's the VA home loan that requires zero down payment. However, just as with any other loan, there are requirements, such as the obvious, you must be a veteran, a veteran with a positive discharge status. And also though, it has to be your primary residence, meaning you must live in the house. Now, whenever you buy a home and you put less than 20% down, which honestly probably describes more than half of the home buyers out there, you have mortgage insurance that's included on your loan. And, and no, this is not insurance to protect you, or at least not in the way you might be thinking. It's actually insurance to protect the lender in case you were to ever default on your loan. And the monthly amount for this, I mean, it can vary a, a little. Uh, to give you a really rough estimate of what you could anticipate for that, I mean, it could be an extra two, maybe $300 extra on top of your standard monthly mortgage payment. With many loans out there, you can have this removed once you have 80% uh, equity on your loan. Uh, my word of caution though is check with your lender to be sure that's the case for your loan. With VA loans though, there is no mortgage insurance. So that right there is gonna save you that two or $300 every month. Understand though, I am not a lender. So my recommendation for you is speak with your lender. Get the specifics on, on your eligibility and how these loan programs will work for you. Uh, if, if you don't have a lender and you live here in the Inland Empire, let me know, I can help refer one to you. With all that said, if you do have any questions about anything I covered here, or, or maybe you are thinking about buying a home here in the Inland Empire, my contact information is below. Give me a call or text, I'm always here to help.